So today we're going to be creating a logo. We're going to start with AI and then we're going to end up in Illustrator creating a vector graphic that's reusable. So for our logo, I wanted to see if I could get something to kind of jumpstart our ideas. So for the image, I decided to use ChatGPT and then I also did the same in Firefly. And in Firefly, I was able to download a vector into Illustrator. And then I also imported this ping file, this flat ping file into Illustrator as well. So this is the image in Illustrator that I got from Firefly. Now you can already see there's just a lot of extra things going on in here. Some extra points. Um, there's curved lines that should be straight. There's extra shapes where there should be gradients and overall just needs a lot of work. So I right away started modifying some of these things and I will show you how I did some of them. One of the main things I did was use Pathfinder. So I find that using Pathfinder to combine shapes really does help to show one shape where it had way too many. So I've simplified a few things there's a lot more tweaks I could do and that I would do to make this into a much more professional logo. But I wanted to show you another really interesting thing about using generative AI. So if you go and select your shapes and over in this tool over here called recolor, so this allows you to kind of use the color wheel to see other options for colors and you can go in and edit each color individually or the other thing you can do is use generative recolor this allows you to either use sample prompts or come up with something on your own and i would like to use blues and pinks and see what it comes up with I like this one. I think it tones down some of the many colors that were going on in the previous version. I think there's other things that I would do like add in some drop shadows, but I think this looks good overall. I'd say it's still a lot of work to do once you get your vector file from Firefly into Illustrator. Is it faster than just creating something from scratch? Maybe it's a good idea generator and maybe something just to start with. But keep in mind that when you do bring things into Illustrator, there's still a lot of work to do. So now we're going to start on the other logo image, the one we downloaded from ChatGPT. First thing I'm going to do is open it up into Photoshop and I'm going to remove the background. This is just going to make it a little more straightforward when we bring it into Illustrator. So we're back in Illustrator with the image from ChatGPT without any background, so it's transparent. And we're going to use Image Trace to make this into a vector. Now, first off, you'll notice it defaults to black and white. So we're going to choose color. There's a lot of options here, so make sure to try them all to see if you can find the best options for your image. It's a bit of trial and error. There's different things here, so make sure and look at the advanced section. For the method, make sure that you have cut out paths, and this will prevent it from having paths on top of each other. So one of the things I find that saves me time is to save swatches of colors or gradients that came out of the image trace. And the reason for that is as we combine some of these shapes, we're going to lose some of the color. And so 
you can easily add that back in by going up to your swatches. So the idea here in the end is to end up with a vector file that is nice and clean, that doesn't have a million points, that doesn't have a bunch of shapes, and that can be reused in different media. So there you go. Two logos created using AI. One using Adobe Firefly, downloading a vector file, and the other one downloading a PNG file and trace in Illustrator. Now they both have these gradients that I've added to them. One thing to keep in mind when you're exporting out for SVG is that it doesn't do really well with transparency. But you can manage to do it either with using a gradient from 100% to 0%, which I did here, or using a blend between two shapes, one at 100%, the other one at zero. The other format you can export as is PNG. Make sure to check the transparency checkbox when you export out for PNG.